Hey everybody, how's it going? It is time for some more Link to the Past. Hey Dragon. And it is time for us to hopefully rescue the rest of the Maidens tonight. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to do that. If we can get three and then next week we can get like the last Maiden, which I think is Zelda. And maybe see if we can clean up some of the, the side stuff and get like the last of the pieces of heart and any of the other secrets. Because I know there's some secrets that I have missed both in the dark and light world. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, last time we left off on our adventure here, I had a really bad time in the in the Bone Forest, and we rescued the other maiden. We also got, I believe it was the Fire Rod. I'm gonna say it was the Fire Rod. And now, yep, continue the game. Uh, where do we have to go now? Maiden number four is over in what remains of Kakariko, so I guess we'll just make our way there and just keep going in numerical order. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry to hear, Dragon. Hope you get better, dude. And hopefully I can... Excuse me, I was trying to cheer up my friend. Get out of here. Now, as I was saying before, we're so rudely interrupted. I hope that tonight can at least help in cheering you up, dude. Alright, I actually wonder... Now that we finish the forest, if I can actually get the piece of heart up there. Normally does, that's good to hear. Yes, I can get over there. Because I've got the hook shot. Oh, I can't get past that, I forgot. Whoops! Alright, never mind. I'll have to come back here later. I just need to remember that there is a piece of heart sitting up there for me. Alright. Oh, hi. Alright, might as well explore the houses a bit. See if... Uh, it says it's in the village. We just need to figure out where exactly. Is the village of outcasts? People without rupees are not welcome here. Hmm. Oh, that thing's alive. Uh, this. Ooh, 100 rupees. And this. Bombs. So, like, most humans dead here? Uh, it's not that. It's that if you're a human, then you get transformed into, like, a creature or something. Alright, I'm gonna guess, because that looks like a staircase under there, that's where I need to go. Hmm. Let me go back to the light world real quick. Apparently, from what I remember the first time we arrived at the Dark World, it was basically like a reflection of who you were. So, apparently, the inside of Link, he is a bunny. I don't get it either. Wait, I do remember something. There was like a place over here I think we could go into. Yeah, it was like a, a blacksmith's place, right? Yeah. Link to courage because Triforce of courage and all. I'll, I'll have to look into why Link turns into a bunny. Maybe they just want an excuse to turn Link into a bunny. Who knows? Alright. Well, that's where that is. So let me go back to the Dark World real quick. Let's 
what's in here real quick? Um, ooh, a house. And there's a chest back here. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Apparently, no matter where I go, light world, dark world, no one can get enough of Mario. Oh, right. These are too heavy. Hmm. Yeah, I need, like, a stronger power gloves to get it in there. Village of Auscas. All right. Uh, let's see. Ah, thought that would take him back to the light world with me. All right, then. That's the treasure shop. Hmm. Apparently because of his heroic manner, uh, and nice manner, Link becomes a bunny. Ah. I don't think we've gone in there yet. Oh, this is just a store. Never mind. Hi, Moon. Alright, so we can't do anything in town at the moment. Oh, hello? I can't get you out of there. So, what I'm gonna guess we have to do is figure out a way to open up that pathway. I wonder. Give me just a second, because we do have the medallions, and sometimes I think the medallions actually have a special use outside of, you know, attacking enemies. Let's try Quake. I need to go back up to that statue real quick. Oh, that's a Dark World Cuckoo. I was like, why is there just a bone bird down here? Alright, let's try this. This seems oddly out of place. Maybe do it right here. Nope. Alright, guess I'll just blast my way in. Nope. Ether? Nope. Alright, well, I'm drawing a blank. to say build your outcasts all right let's go around the dark world and see what else we can do out here then it was a shooting mini game I failed at miserably Sir, I believe you have this game rigged. Oh, this game is definitely rigged.
Ah, come on, I can do this. Or not. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad. Kinda glad that cancel plans for fancy dinner place we're gonna go to tonight because honestly it was a no mood to eat a formal place. That one. Oh come on! Two That was on target. Mmm. Sir, I hate your game. All right. Oh, come on. That one was on target. This game is rigged. I know I probably get something good if I can get all the all the auto rocks back there. <gasps> okay, so it seems like it's right there when it's between that black line and the tarp. Yep, okay, that's it. Link right there. Oh. Embrace Monk. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Just one pixel over. There we go. Alright, ready for him to line up. Ah, damn the hands. There. <laughs> Sir, I despise your game with every fiber of my being. You can see it right. It's going like right over these Autorox's heads, even though it looks like it should hit them. Okay, that one was my own damn fault. I'm just going to burn through all my rupees, aren't I? We'll give it one more try. And then we stop trying.
Ooh, perfect. Alright, well, at least we made some money back. I think I can't get a piece of heart from that until I get better gloves. with hearts. Alright, can never say no to that. There we go, back to full health. I'm sure you'll figure something out, Dragon. Don't worry. not. Hello. Oh, right. I already got that. Uh, something tells me it's probably like a secret code I need to I need to hit. Maybe I do have to go back to Kakariko. And I'm thinking that because the requirement for... Like, when we had to do the Swamp uh, Palace uh, last week, one of the things was whatever happens in the Light World also affects the Dark World. So I wonder, maybe you have to do something in the Light World of Kakariko to uh, influence the Dark World version of it. Okay, just skulls. Let's see if there's anything in the light world over here. Nope. Alright. Just wanted to check. Are you talking like about that, like, uh... Battle Royale like game and it had like different art styles for characters. Oop. 
her name is Princess Charm. Bond of happiness. Throw some rupees. Oh, it's this. I doubt it. Uh, give me more arrows. All right, there we go. Yeah, I saw that. I'm really excited for it, even though I don't have HBO Max. Uh, let's see. No, can't do that. Alright, that is definitely another palace. I think that's where number five is hiding. Just need a way in there. And I'm gonna guess... <clears throat> that maybe if I go to the light world and figure out the d how to get to... Hello! Don't mind if I do. If I go back to Kakariko, figure out how I'm supposed to get into the dungeon from the light world, and then I should be able to... Uh, get inside that palace because I'm gonna guess, seeing as how there's so many puzzles now that are involving me having to lift heavy things, that the dungeon item for whatever the fourth dungeon is here is going to be like better gauntlets. At least that's what I hope it is the dungeon item. How far out do I need? Uh, it's all the way up there. Only other thing I can think of is maybe play the Ocarina in front of the dungeon. Oh, that's a, that's living. Maybe play the Ocarina in front of that statue or the entrance to the dungeon because it worked for the light world. God damn skull, get out of here. Actually, wait. Oh, not the powder. Let me go back to the light world real quick. Because I think there was like a like a set of rocks I could lift here in the graveyard, but I want to make sure that they were rocks I could lift, or were they rocks that, yeah, they're dark war rocks. I can't do anything yet. How hard does Mario Mix get because suck a DDR? Uh... Honestly, I never had a problem with it when I uh, streamed it. There were some like challenging things, like I think like the final challenge is the hardest. But a lot of the dance battles in that game actually have like a gimmick based on the character that you're battling. And I don't want to go into spoilers of who, who you do battle against, but each one usually has like its own gimmick. Get out of here. Alright, so that's right where the dungeon is. Ah, great, you have to drink that red potion. Hmm. I don't see a dancing ballad, sir. I will riot. it. All right, uh, let's explore. See where the bird drops us off. All right. Well, there's our house. Uh, what 
was this location? Ah, right. Oh, maybe there's... Maybe I can fly to a location that has other portals to the Dark World. Bird. Bird! Alright, uh, down there, no... Let's see where Seven drops me off. Right in front of the swamp area. Okay. Let's see, number six... Up here. I never actually fully explored the desert here, so I'm actually gonna look around and see if there was anything I might have missed out here. If there was this area up here. Nope. Oh, there is something I can't. Oh. You know what? Oh, nope. Ah, uh, too many rocks. All right, I want to go back down to the de the desert palace real quick. See if I remember the layout of this place. I think go down here. And right here. Yep, there we go. Ah, damn, it's too far out. Uh, sure, dragon. I, I wouldn't mind, but I, at the same time, it's like, you don't have to do this. You can... Don't have to, like, send it to me. Because you know how I feel about uh, people sending me stuff. Alright, how the hell am I supposed to get into this dungeon? Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm gonna cave. I gotta go see the fortune teller. Maybe he has a solution. Can't exactly download it twice. Not with that attitude, you haven't. Alright. What do you got for me? Abracadabra, Alakazam, the true hero, will join... Uh, jump into the well near the smithy shop. Oh, nice. You'll have to show it off when you get it, dude. Is it like the standard rain that uh, Ty has in the series, or is it like a, a custom rain that you could have picked from?
It's a standard one. That's still, it's kind of an iconic design. Hammer. There we go. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't know what that... That hint was about. Oh, wait! Fire Rod! We just got that. Magic potion. Nope. All right. Okay, maybe not. Hammer? Lore reading? Aha! Hey, blast you for waking me from my deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Er, is that okay with you, sir? <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day, sir. See ya. So, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It said magic power dropped by a half. Does that mean my magic's permanently cut in a half, or does it reduce less now? I think I've got two bars now. Alright. Mystical fortune teller of the forest, where the hell do I have to go now? Find the Smith's partner in the village of Outcasts. Wonder what happens if I drop magic power on the chicken. Nothing. Alright. Nope. Nothing with that. I'd say show order two. Some exclusive merch for doing confirmation survey. Maybe at least spring for it once you side. How much how much was the, the rain then? Or was it just a reward for being a backer for it? The gossip stone in the dark world has a treasure for asking. I don't even know where the hell a gossip stone here is. I think it was 30. Wow, that's a pretty good price for a replica. There was a replica for uh, something I usually play that I have my eye on, and I probably will get it tonight or maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Right, come on, give me some good advice. Smith's partner in the village of Outcasts. It says we'll find a partner in the village of Outcast, but I've looked all over this village and there's no, like, friendly person here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. I am literally slamming my head against the wall of where the hell I'm supposed to go. Alright, let's look around the village some more. See, that was just for falling into the hole. Chicken. I would like some magic power, thank you very much. in here. That's the store. Very nice young lady of the waterfall of wishing in the hills where the river begins. Think you should meet her. At least once. I'm sure you will like her. How am I supposed to get back there, though? I see a chest. Oh, wait, maybe it's one of these puzzles. Yep. That looks to be an entrance to me. Bingo! Bottle! Perfect. I would need more of those. That's the bug catching kid. Okay, so from the only thing that the fortune tellers are telling me is that there is I have to rescue the blacksmith's uh, brother or son or whatever he was brother son partner from the village The gossip stone in the dark world has treasure for the asking. That'd be nice if I knew where the gossip stone was. I figure it would maybe be like dark Kakariko because that's what the gossip stones originate from. Uh, Sheikah stuff, and that's what Kakariko is. Thing. Go for them, but another backer add-on you could with uh, some tie action figures. Wasn't one like you could get a character up that of you you're like OC put it into the game, but one of the back backer tiers was that. Oh no, I think I'm stuck. Uh, but one of the backer tiers was you could also get a figurine of your character. Back entrances doesn't look like it. Just open up. No official figures and Thai characters. I think uh, Thai Shez and Dennis. Wow, no Sly? Or Cass? Ah, uh, come on. Open up! I just want to get in there! 
So I was going to be part of Series 2, I think, but the back goal wasn't met. Uh, uh, what am I supposed to do in there? I couldn't even if I wanted to. I don't have the magic for it. Alright, so that's the shop. So we can't do anything there. So maybe a back entrance? No. Can I... Oh, can I bomb that? Because there's, like, cracks there. Link, please. There we go. Yes! I'm a genius, even though it took me 45 min minutes to figure something like that out. And um, all of my troubles just got me was 300 rupees. I think this still technically counts as a village down here, and there's a character over here that looks like he's trapped. Ooh, wait. I got it. Nope, not the ocarina. Give me the mirror. Now, maybe that'll have changed it. Nope. Get your name in the credits twice. Ah, cool. <sighs> so, where am I supposed to go? Target shooting's a no-go. I'm going to guess this is the, the blacksmith's uh, partner. But I need stronger gloves to even get him out of there. Hammer the skulls, I can try. Nope, not strong enough. Uh, let's see. Get out of here. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Glad it doesn't give me any, any indication. Thanks, game. But hey, we're in the next dungeon, so I guess I really can't complain. All right, let's look. Three floors, one first floor. It's just a two room. All right.
Oh, this entire dungeon's a maze, isn't it? Alright, is that, like, news for the, the golfing game? Aha. Oh, there are pathways. Yep, people knows it in the trailer. So you go, go down. I'm a bunny again. There we go. All right. Down that way leads to the net. That's gonna be. That's gonna lock behind me. Nope. I think they shoot the the beam that turns me into a bunny. Hello. Now the most important thing for the new Mario Golf. Crap. Maybe they don't shoot it. Maybe it's just something that was always down here. Honestly, seeing it, uh, the what, what do they call it? Like rush golf or something? I I want really want like a golf battle royale where you have to be the first to uh, sink or shot into the hole on the course, but you can like beat each other up and like fight to get your shot in there. You know, and then try to mess up the other shot. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be so mean. But I'm looking so forward to the new Mario Golf. Go through here. Hmm. I guess it was all. Something tells me I have to get the dungeon item before I can go into that room. I'm gonna guess that's where the boss is, but I again I need the dungeon item to even you know fight him. I don't know exactly what the boss is gonna be. Maybe it's that uh, thief guy that the other guy back in the thieves' hideout in the light world was talking about. This is crazy. Oh boy. Alright, I don't know what the, the use of that was. Oh, that's what the use of it is. Oh, wait, hold on. There were skulls up there I could get to. Button. Magic, finally. Oh, no. Check means when I can. Will do. Alright, don't be deceived by the magic of blind the thief. Be careful. So yeah, that is actually the, the thief guy that they were talking about in the other world. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm stuck. But even 
even is that thing? Alright, lizards or roaches? Or grasshoppers or whatever. I'm gonna say they're probably lizards. Ah, I see. Makes sense why there's so many bombs in here. Nope. All right. What about right here? Nope. Okay. Was worth a shot. Oh no. I forgot. Alright, not what I was expecting to go into. Closer. There we go. Oh, that is some major slowdown. Holy hell, that's a lot of slowdown. Brain, he has my ass. All that for 10 rupees. Great. Alright, let me consult the map. Okay, so, yeah, the boss is there. Those are staircases. Maybe it opened up the way for the boss. Okay, so... Uh, maybe we go back to the boss's room? Hmm, or not. Alright, uh, let me go back to the start of the dungeon. Okay, so let's get a lay of the land. Alright, there is a path up there we haven't checked yet, so let's head over there. Uh-oh. 
Get out of here. Ah, crap. Nope, 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 nope. Get away. 20 rupees. Hmm. If I were a dungeon item, where would I be hiding? Not there. Oh, this just looped me back around to here. Okay, so there, there was a way down in one room. What was the way down? I don't remember. That leads up, and that leads up to here. Oh, right. That led down there, but I couldn't do anything because... Ah, the hell? Nah, bug. Maybe I can lift those up. They look like they're covering something. Nope. Too heavy. Uh, it's nice that enemies can hide from in the the foreground. All right. No keys. No way to get through. Only thing I can think of is to see if maybe there's something in that room down there that I missed. Yeah, that led to the room up there that had the the staircase. I need to hit the thing again. Ah, crap, I'm gonna die. Not this time. I not a word, not a word. And I guess technically that wasn't a word, so you found a loophole. I'm scared that thing's gonna... No, it's stuck. Alright. Fine with me. Oh, no! Not this time. Please give me health. Magic, magic, bombs, great.
There we go. Can you bring up Woolly World? Nah. I don't need to bring up Woolly World and your amazing uh, bomb throws. Protection from fire blast my ass. Are you kidding me? Come on. All right, you stay there. Oh dear, so many things going on. Come on, give me a heart. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. There's nothing in my bottles. This man, yeah, this game is super stingy with hearts. Finally got one. Magic. And no hearts. Uh, okay. Maybe there'll be hearts in here. Alright, no, wait, nope. Going down there. Heart. Heart. Ah, it was kill all the enemies. <sighs> if I'm to die, I at least want to see if I can get that door open. There we go. Not even gonna bother. Give it a heart. Uh, one step forward, twenty steps back. I need a key. That maybe I need to take that guy out. Oops. Don't need a key for these? I 
guess not. Hmm. That's not the maiden. But I will take this key. Oh, thank you so very much! You saved my life! Please take me outside! Well, we did it. We rescued Daisy. Oh dear. Hello. Give me just a second. Want to see what's in here. Bonk. You got the Titan's Mitt. Now you can lift the heaviest of stones that were once impossible to budge. I do need to know. Aria. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah. I'm not even gonna deal with this. That is literally just a trap room. Alright, nope. Can't lift those ones. Yeah, too bright! It is him! And he is smoking! Oh god, he's got lasers. Alright, that's a no-go. Need to get at a good angle and just spin attack. Oh no! Oh no! It's a peripheral vision boss fight. You know what? Literally, it's right there. Let's just go and grab some health from the from the shop. And also, technically, I could probably go save the blacksmith's uh, friend now, because I do have the mitts. Well, we'll see if we can beat him one more time, and then we'll uh, we'll go rescue the guy. Now that I got some magic in me, and I know how to fight him, we should be able to do well this time around. But the big question I really want to ask right now is, do we have to go rescue the fake maiden again, or do we just go back to the boss room? Uh-oh. Strategy beat the shit out of him. No kidding. Also strategy, don't die on the way. Crap, crap, I didn't mean to go in here. I wanted to get the two hearts that were in front of his door.
Okay. Time for some health. Just so I don't accidentally use it. Wow, that head is super annoying. Okay, okay, time for health. Drink. There's so much going on, it's slowing down the game a bit. Got him! Oh, finally. Guess it. <laughs> I don't think that was in a strategy, Dragon, but we'll just go along with it. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. As the wise men sealed away the, in the Dark World, the Knights of Hyrule defeated, uh, defended them from the attacks of the evil monsters. I heard that the Knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You're perhaps the last one to carry the bloodline of the Knights. It's ironic that the last one in the line has the potential to become the hero of legend. Surely you can destroy Ganon. Do you understand? Not at all! May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Alright, let's go rescue the blacksmith's friend now. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Ribbit, ribbit. Your body did not change. You are not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. I wonder what my partner is doing there without me. Ribbit. I have a request for you. Please take me to my partner. Please, Ribbit, please. <laughs> it's kind of goofy. Like, the little bit of blue below, like, where in between his eye and mouth makes it look like he's constantly on the verge of tears at this moment. Alright. This looks like a good enough spot. Oh, happy days! Are here again. You found my partner. We are very happy now. Drop by here again. At that time, we will temper your sword perfectly. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I guess maybe it's a go leave and then come back. Hey, you! Welcome! Ask us to do anything. I'll give you a big discount. Sword temper, just 10 rupees. Temper day? Eh? Are you sure? Alright, no problem. We'll have to keep your sword for a while. Give it the good old in and out. I'm not done yet. Come back after a while. Oh, guess not. Well, I guess we're going the old-fashioned way of just punching everything. I wonder if I actually can hurt enemies just by punching them. Nope. Slugging it out doesn't work.
The sword is tempered up. Now hold it. It's red! Great, your sword is stronger. You can feel the sheer power flowing through your body. It doesn't keep the old sword as a backup. Listen, Link is a very simple boy, okay? If the Bitter Alerts are anything to go by, his life is just filled with misfortune. Get out of here. Hello. I didn't think that was going to do anything, to be honest. I just wanted to do that for fun. Ooh, piece of heart. Speaking of which. Tracking you fool. <laughs> you don't need to prove a point, dude. Most of the Bit Alerts Dragon uh, come from, like, a running joke from the streams of past. Oh, hi. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. Sure, what is it? Tell you the truth, I found incredible beauty inside the pyramid. But someone sealed the door. You can't do anything with, uh, with a standard bomb, they say. But, anyways, back to my story. Uh... It's basically based off of, like, running jokes throughout the series and also just some things that uh, I think of the top of my head. The Knights one is from the running joke during the Knights in the Dream series where Knights constantly kept getting captured even though Knights is treated like, oh, Knights is the savior of the Dream Realm. Also, stop playing the arrow game, Dick. Back to the light world, because now we can actually open that grave. And I'm going to guess it's probably for another piece of heart. Alright, right here. Should be good. Time for grave robbing. Time for grave robbing. Maybe. Maybe not. Not time for grave robbing? Time for grave smashing! Yeah, I can't push the graves there, but I don't know why I can't push the grave up there. This is underneath Hyrule Castle. Alright. Uh, well. Oh! Wait! No. I was gonna say, maybe that has something to do with the Dark World, but I don't think so. Nothing but bones. Uh, 
Guard is an evil, probably. He's just try trying to stop me from grave robbing. Maybe use the mirror right here. Hello. Oops. I need bumps. Yep. Piece of art. All right, the next location to go is the one that's out on the lake. Oh, that's how you break those things. You just charge right into them. Hmm. Oh, fairy. Mine. Got it. Ah, did I miss her? Yes, I did. Damn it. Bowser's Fury does have online co-op, so who's going to be Junior? Hmm, who knows? We'll have to see. Maybe whoever gets the crown the most. Wait, never mind. I'm talking about the main game. Articles need to word themselves better. Oh, why, why do I have to be Junior? Hmm? Huh. Maybe I want you to be Junior. Ever thought of that dragon? I got the crown how many times in the first <laughs> session alone? Semantics. Don't worry, that crown will be mine come Saturday. Oh, bullshit! You're seeing it, right? It's still connecting with uh, the sprite up there, but it just doesn't register. All right. One. Fuck. Urgh. Urgh. I anger. I told you not to do this game anymore. Can't tell me what to do, old man. I make my own rules. Uh, 
Alright, you know what? Let's wait for a nice big gap. <laughs> ah, we were so close! Bullshit! At least I'm still making some money back on it. So I'm breaking even a couple times. That was way too soon. That was way too late. And that stupid hand got in the way. Go away, Master Hand! No one likes you! This is like a game at a carnival. It's rigged to work in the, the carney's favor, but at the same time, you just can't stop yourself from playing it. Oh! <gasps> no! I'm gonna just... Local Dark World entrepreneur found dead with multiple sword slashes. Attached to him was a note that said, This game is bullshit. It's just gonna be the night of me making weird sounds, isn't it? You can understand the note. Also, it's, yeah, 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 no one knows what it means. Local authorities are looking for this suspect. It shows up a picture of Link. You can identify him by his very pink hair. Any information will be greatly appreciated by the Dark World authorities. I hate you. I hate you. I wish your existence would stop existing. Can't speak a lick of Hylian. I'm gonna waste all my money on this, aren't I? I, I do so well a couple times, but then j if I miss one arrow... Nope, that was uh, that was bad timing.
Ah! Listen, I don't have a problem, okay? I swear. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. That one was way too early. Sir, I do not like you. And my green oven mitts are not gonna... Mm, I, don't know where, I don't know where I was gonna go with that. I'm getting too frustrated with this game. Too soon. Yeah, I don't even know why I shot there. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. This game is really just for, for What? Excuse me, dragon. So, I spent nearly four, five hundred rupees on this game, thinking that, oh, hey, it's a pretty challenging minigame. And I, I just, I, if I got a perfect score on this, I get a piece of heart or maybe something good, maybe a bottle. But you're telling me this was all just for rupees. I quit! Oh my god! No haunting track from Little Nightmares 2 is gonna haunt me more than this music. Let's get the hell out of here. I am not giving him another rupee. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. All that- that is literally just a scam minigame. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. <laughs> It's just that. Oh, well, thank you for ending my madness. Oops. Run angle. Alright. Let me. I know that this is probably something good. Just give him the rupees. Go digging. At least I can make a, a decent amount of money back from this. And also, I. Knowing that this is here. Are you kidding me? This better be worth it. This is just break the bank night, isn't it? No. 
Okay, let's at least get to the next palace before... Hello. Yeah, you get back here. You get back here. Don't you run from me. There we go. <sighs> let's just get to the next palace and get that set up before we take a break. Well, I will say that it does have a piece of heart for getting... Are you talking about... Wait, what? I will say that does have a piece of heart for getting... Are you talking about the treasure digging minigame? Yes. Alright, well... If, before I do any of that, I, I just want to make some progress in the story, so we're going to go to the next palace before we do any th more treasure hunting. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I, I think I remember getting a piece of heart from that, though. It just, yeah, I just dig 25 holes. Yeah, I remember getting a piece of heart from that from just randomly digging. Okay, this needs to stop. Yep, knew it. Alright. Next dungeon. But for now, let's take a break. I need to go cool off from the madness. Alright. Uh, I'll open up for Cocoms when I get back. For now, I'm gonna go just lay down, relax, and get some water and just scream into the void for the fact that I wasted 400 to 500 rupees on a, a mini game that I didn't even need to waste a single rupee on. Well, lucky for me, it looks like I'm in a nice dungeon. Yeah, I can finally go cool off in here. Alright. See you all in just a little bit.
Okay, I'm back. I finally cooled down after my brief run-in with insanity. Got the window open for CoCon, so they'll hopefully hop in in a few minutes. And for now, it's time for us to start the next dungeon. Link to Magic Flames will protect you inside the icy dungeon. Oh, hi! That was a, that was a scam in the highest degree. Uh... Like most carnival games. It really is just one of those carnival games. Also, I see you got the blue chest icon, which means you unlocked yourself a new emote, uh, dragon. Oh? Yep. And it's a very fitting one for the game we're playing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that I I figured that would be a, a perfect emote for those who got it uh got the first bit tier. <laughs> Hi Moon. Hello. How are you? Good, you. Yeah. Other than screaming your brains out. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. There's a party going on in this room. Fucking. Those are the weirdest looking penguins. Uh, uh, for a second, I thought, uh, are those actually like Kappas or something? Nope. Uh, Kappa penguins. Let's go with that. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me crew my key of them out then. <laughs> How the hell do I get to the freaking stranger? Uh... Hmm? Destiny. Ah. It's the the small base camp at the bottom of Europa. Uh, I know. No, I meant the. There's a quest, going the key to something, and I, I'm trying to find her. She's in another location. Oh, for this if, quest. if you're, I think it, you have to go to the lost sectors for that one then. Yeah, the lost sector. Uh. Bunker E3 Master that, Lost Sector. That, that would be the one at the the top of the map. Destiny was I think I figured I tried. it out. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Moon? I think I figured it out. <laughs> okay. Alright, what'd you say, Dragon? Destiny is a game I tried, but I could just never get into it. Eh, it's understandable. It's not a game that's e that everybody likes. I, I It's as close to an MMO as I'm ever going to really dedicate a lot of time to. It, it's weird, given how much I love playing Borderlands Zone. It's basically similar to that. I used to play a lot of MMO games, but maybe it's I because I maybe it's because I uh, used to play a lot of Borderlands too. That's why I was like so into Destiny. Hi! Oh, oh you're yeah. a big guy. Who did you uh, play as in Borderlands Two? Axton. Honestly, I played as everybody because I 100% the 360 version of that. But Axton was basically my main. My main is Zero. And I'm not just saying that Axon was my main because I share a name with his voice actor. <laughs> you cannot destroy the skeleton knight with the sword alone. When he collapses, he is vulnerable to another weapon, a.k.a. bombs. Uh, I went with Zero because cool cyber ninja. And then when I when I played Borderlands 3, I, I of course picked Moe's because Titanfall. Uh... I picked uh, Flack because, honestly, I just really like the animal system. Yeah, Flack's a good character. Uh, what was I saying? And in pre-sequel, I went with Claptrap because I don't have to worry about air. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you picked the easy route. Also, hit, I just like Claptrap and his ability because of how random it can be. <laughs> uh, part of me really wants to revisit Borderlands and like play the series as like a... I want to say trilogy, but I guess quadrility, or just like replay the entirety of the Borderlands series. But at the same time, I'd have to play the first Borderlands game, and I'm I'm gonna be blunt with that. I was never a fan of it. If you ever go back to Borderlands, I won't mind joining in on you. But I call Mordecai and Zero. That's fine. I don't I don't play as them. I usually like playing as like the soldier character. I'll play as a character that I know is at least decent of a sniper. 
that's what that. I think Claptrip was the exception, exception though. I mean, I think he had like stuff that was based off snipers. But then again, he basically was like the wild card character of that game. Yes, which made him really fun to use his ability because you could get a little siren protector or you could start bouncing around in a floaty. Or my favorite one, uh, turn into a pirate ship and start shooting cannons to the 1812 overture. I haven't seen that yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's my favorite ability from him. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Uh, my dad's favorite ability is a little uh, minion that goes down. Here I come to save the day. Link! Ice physics, everyone's favorite. I had to deal with ice phys physics. Uh, yeah, ice physics in real life today. I'm dead. Yeah, I heard you complain about your car got ice in. Yeah. Wow, those things hurt a lot. I just realized I didn't hear any beeping when I died. Hey, you know what? Uh, Bombos. Burn it all! Bumps. <laughs> Alright, what's down here? Yeah, you know, obviously due to the weather, we were pretty slow at work today. <laughs> I see what I need to do, but I don't have the big key for that. Ah, oh, shit. Go wait! Speaking of big key. Oh, it's the, uh... The... Sam Monster's cousins, the jazz handy ones. Oh. Yeah, jazz hands. You oh. see it too. I, I do see it, and now I can never unsee it. Oh, man, these things hit like trucks in here. Did you ever see that Zelda, Japanese Zelda commercial where it's basically a, a, rap, com a rap music video? Yes. It's one of my favorites. Oh, I know for a fact one of these guys is going to pop out. I'm going to guess it's you. No? Hmm, guess not. Actually, have you encountered Wiz Robes yet? I don't even know if Wiz Robes are in this game. Go, 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 go. Link, Link! Woo! Oh, yeah, so my dad got himself a Switch as a birthday present to himself. Your dad got what for a birthday present? Uh, he, for himself, he got himself a Switch. Ah. what did he get on it? Uh, nothing yet. He's just borrowing my copy of Zelda. Ah. Well, at least that'll tide him over for the next, what, year and a half? Well, he's, well, he's not getting into it yet because he's finishing up uh, Dragon Quest Eleven on the Xbox. Ah. I've always heard the Dragon Quest series was good. Weird, but good. You know, my dad said, yeah, you have to get past the uh, Japan elements of it. <laughs> oh, I think I built up an immunity. I have been playing Yakuza, so... <laughs> and if I if I remember right, Yakuza 7 has like a like a big Dragon Quest motif to it. Because, like, the the character you play as in it is, like, a big, like, fanboy of Dragon Quest. Oh, shit. Like, do not use all of your magic power if you do not possess the med uh, medis uh, medicine of magic. Now get ready to go into the depths of the stuff. Yes, Mom. I mean, I, ha I have half the magic now. Does that count, Zelda? I'm gonna guess I have to fight a lot of those ice guys, and it's like, hey, don't waste all your magic unless you have a way to replenish it easily. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm either gonna do uh, DDR Mario Mix or Friday Night Funkin', because I've just been in a rhythm game mood. If you ever need a rhythm game that doesn't uh, require you to dance and and bust a move, you can always do like the Canes of Hyrule or the Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Damn it! 
I have Quick and Necro Dancer. I need to get back to that. But uh, Friday Night Funkin', you just use the arrow keys since it, you can't use the dance pad with it yet. Ah. Is it because you don't have the dance pad for it, or...? It doesn't have support yet. Like, it's still... The game is still in development. Oh. I was like, oh, that sounds like a game I remember. It's like for the Wii or something. Or GameCube. Yeah. Yeah, no, I brought it up during uh, the first Little Nightmare stream. Really? That is... Nope, that's just a fake cut. Uh, that's just a fake out. But uh, something I find funny is uh, in the game, the characters aren't dancing, they're just singing. And they do these little uh, beep boop sounds. But everyone else talks normal. It's just there for the game. Uh -huh. But not the boyfriend, which who you play as. No, he actually just speaks in those beeps and boops. Uh-oh. Oh, no, go away, go away! I kind of feel bad for the skeletons. They just drop down like, hey, uh, am I supposed to be here? <laughs> it looks so confused. Like, Ganon, why'd you send me here? How how did I get here? Oh, hi there. So, ah! Map. All right. Oh, God, this place is huge. There are eight floors to this dungeon. I don't even think the tower back in the light world had this many floors to it. TPG, I'm about to ruin the map sprite for you. Why? It looks like rolled up dough. <laughs> Remember, you need to need the map. Need it. You really do need it, don't you? Yes, I do need it. <laughs> Alright. Well, there's the big key. So I might as well just make my way back down here and just go the way I came. I can hear Moon's eye rolls from here. I think she face palmed. <laughs> Moon, you okay? Listening to a cutscene. Ah. Uh. All right. Guess I do have to take the long way around. And back. Welcome back. <laughs> oh god. So much slow down. Alright, let's see if I remember the way to go. Scroll into Twitter and said Splatoon 3 plot really gonna be like like this, huh? Me and all my gay friends are going to get fucked up in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> It's a real good thing that I got that sword upgrade before coming in here because I feel like a lot of these things would uh, be a pain in the ass to deal with. Like, if those ice skeletons can want, uh, possibly two-shot me, I really don't want to have to deal with it, them. Although, technically, I need to use fire attacks to take them out, but you know what I mean. How'd I get here? Alright, people have been bringing up uh, Pyra and Mithra basically further deconfirmed spirit can't be fighters. Oh, uh, yeah? Were, were they spirits beforehand? Yeah. So, what, once again, it's anybody's game. Yeah. It's like, th that's why I'm so rooting for Rayman and Shantae. Also, th does this mean that technically uh, Sakurai managed to get uh, seven characters in the Smash? Technically, because Pyra and Mithra are considered separate characters, but still together. 
Sakura. It's like a Pokemon trainer. It's like a sac. It's like a Pokemon trainer situation. Sakurai, be sneaky like that. Shit. I know my one friend's happy. He's been begging for a uh, new Xeno rep. Although, everyone was thinking, oh, Rex, it's gonna be Rex. Nope. I mean, technically, Rex is kinda there because he's a part of the Final Smash and also, like, uh, taunts. So he's a Morgana situation. Eh. Yeah. I was also thinking, who, who else did something like that? Because I could have sworn there was, like, another character. You just said, fuck those penguins. Ow. Alright, what is in <laughs> here? Oh, that's a cheap shot. I was supposed to stay in the doorway. How were you supposed to know that? Because it happened the first time. I still call shenanigans. <laughs> you can't call shenanigans. That's my job. No, that's South Park's job. I'm catching up. Get down there. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. What is my treasure for this place? You found the blue mail. This this hammer reduces the damage you take from enemies. Uh, oh God. Uh, it's like that meme of okay, the highest tier stats, and then it's just completely mismatched armor. Look! Look at this. I'm wearing a blue tunic with a yellow belt, green power gloves, red shoot boots, and a yellow hat. Why is the hat yellow? I don't know why the hat is yellow. Ugh, it's so ugly looking. Big time. <laughs> All right. Oh hi. That definitely would have killed me in one shot. I actually speak of Xenoblade. I still need to play Xenoblade in general. Same here. Like, it. I know Xenoblade is like a super long game, and I, if I ever wanted to play it, I, of course I'd probably stream it because I'm, I, I'm just like that. Uh, apparently, there's games before Xenoblade called Xeno Gears for yeah, PlayStation. Yeah, I, I know. I know about Xeno Gears. I, it's like in it takes place in the same universe. Apparently, the, those games are super rare. But my friends said they might be on the PS Vita store. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I'm dead. This might actually work in my favor. Damn it. The blue did not save me. Are you feeling blue? Yes, very. Alright, pull on the tons doesn't do anything. It's kill that enemy. Zelda is the only game where you can get away with saying something. Zelda what? Where you can say like, "Oh, pulling on the tongues doesn't do anything." Yeah, and I I think like uh, Skyward Sword had a puzzle like that where it's like, "Oh, you use the whip item to pull on tongues to open up doors." It's like, "Damn it, I can't grab this tongue." <laughs> well, uh, Skyward Sword, I'm gonna be able to play like properly for the first time once it's out on Switch. I mean, I never had an issue with uh, Skyward Sword when it first came out on the Wii. No, I mean, just, like, played it, like, play. I I never really got to play the game. Oh. I know, but I'm saying, like, pe people always say that, oh, hey, it's on Switch, now I can finally play it for real. And it's just like, you know, Skyward Sword never really had a big of an issue. And I, I feel like Joy-Con Drift's going to make that game worse. Uh, doesn't Ego Ouch. Raptor despise that game? He used to, but I think he changed his mind about it. Oh, what changed his mind? I don't know. I just think I remember something from Game uh, Game Grumps, like he, he doesn't really mind Skyward Sword anymore. Well, I 
He's also- I know he's so flip-floppy with when it comes to Sonic. That's a weird yipe. Uh, what happens if I put a bomb there? Nothing. That's just a... Oh, hey, if you stand on this for too long, then you will die. Man, these these skulls these skulls are supposed to be so big and imposing if you just doink and then bomb. I wonder if these are supposed to be if they're supposed to be Stalfos. I mean, yeah, technically the the skeleton enemies are considered Stalfos, but going forward in Zelda games, they kind of resemble Stalfos more than uh, the actual ones in this. I'm just saying that because the big skeletons wear armor and also carry weapons. So, like, are the Stalfos supposed to be, like, just dead people, or are they just their own thing? I think they're just their own thing. Hmm. Shit. I'm dead. And dead. <sighs> Zelda's probably looking at you doing it, like, what is his issue? Ice. Ice is my issue. Let me take a look. All right, so the Cold, gimmick of, and it's X everywhere. Yeah, the, the gimmick of this, of course, is that you just need to keep getting lower and lower until you get like the very bottom. Oh God! Did a Majora's Mask do this? Do something similar to this? Except you're trying to get higher and higher. Uh, with Snowhead, possibly. I need to get back. I still need to get back to the Majora's Mask, but nobody. But they can ring. Wait, I'm at Great Bay Temple. I mean, when I did my stream of Great, uh, the more Majora's Mask Challenge, uh, run, honestly, Great Bay, aside from that one time I died in it, wasn't really as bad as I remember it being. Aside from well, that like, one fairy that was hidden in a very convoluted location. Well, I ha I gotta deal with the Bork Zora controls in the 3DS version. Oh, you're, you meant 3D, I thought you were, like, original. I, I never really played the original. I I've mainly only played the 3DS remake, and I got the Borg and I got the Borg Zora controls, where I have to be using magic to do with the actual swimming controls. Well, you can just do the Romani side quest, get get the the chateau, and then you don't have to worry about run out of magic. Well, I can always go get the chateau because I have the hat. Oh, you already have the hat. All right, I didn't know. Yeah. I actually still need to properly complete that side quest. It's just like the block pushing puzzle screwed me over. I wonder. Maybe do that to make it blue. And then maybe go. No, wait, I can't. Unless. I doubt it, but yeah, I can't. It's one way. All right, bombs. Bombs, rope. Sorry, Link. I don't take credit. Come back when you're, um, richer. <laughs> I need to find, like, a super clean version of that if I want to make that, that an alert. Do you want the RTX version? Uh, what? What's the RTX version? It's him and, like, as a 3D model and very, like, oh. high quality in HD. No, I, I'd rather if it was, like, maybe, like, a cleaned up of the original, but if not, then I might have to go with, like, the old-fashioned. Do you mean like a like it's not so pixelated? Or not not as fuzzy. <gasps> God, even with this better armor, it still like every enemy still hit like a truck in this place.
Ow. Did I ever go up? No, I did not. Okay, it's it's still gonna be a small bit of fuzzy, but that's just because CDI quality. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, that was just a room below. Much power if you do not possess the medicine and magic. Now get ready to go to the de depths of the dungeon. You know, I, I did find a 1080p version of it. <laughs> Ooh. Send in my one friend group chat and just not. Give context as to why I'm doing it. Oh shit! No 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 no! no. Get away from me! <laughs> yeah, good moon. M must be having a spider crawl after. No, it's some freaking little bomb robots. So, there has to be something more. Uh, okay. For a second, I thought that thing was stuck. Ouch. So it's tired and needed a moment. Woo! Hmm. Bomb? This is just another trap room. Uh, stop hitting me, Spikes Link. You know, just pu just lightly bumping the spikes can't be enough to hurt you. Uh, you would think. Oh, hmm? Link, what is, what is going on with you, dude? It's just like if you hold out a uh, ready for a spin tag, it's just like. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Damn it. Ow, 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 ow. Move. There we go. Got him. What even are those little crawling things supposed to be? Shadow creatures? I don't know. Heartless. Let's just go with heartless. That and this down here leads into here. That looks like it still should hit me, but all right. Oh, <clears throat> why did I not send this in the memes? I'm thinking about it. Uh, uh, Link, what are you doing? Jeez, this ice... I always hated ice physics. No, no one, one likes, likes ice physics. <laughs> hey. Okay, no, that's a lie. The only time I like ice physics is in Mario Galaxy.
Well, that's only because you can spin and start skating. There we go. Key. How did I miss that? Hmm. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Vicky, Vick, Vicky, da, 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 da. <laughs> Yo, okay, Moon? Do you, Warren, do you need a minute? Warren! Wear it! Ow, my ears. Sorry. You will be. Alright, uh, let's see. What well, looks to be a. Where did I remember seeing a locked door? Punch, punch. It's super weird seeing the RTX version of Mushu or Morshu. How do you pronounce his name? How do you pronounce his name? I'm trying. I'm sorry, just I. I'm the sorry. RTX of Mushu. I'm terrible with names. <laughs> Don't worry. I think it's Morshu. Morshu. Okay. Let's see. No, not that. I went the wrong way. Do you think, as a joke, Nintendo would ever remake those two games? Honestly, they own the rights to them. Honestly, I wouldn't mind it because, or just like port it because, aside from the clunky controls, it's and uh, a really memeish art style of the characters and voice acting, it's seems to be an all right game. I think what breaks her is just that control scheme because like there's so many Not weird great. things you gotta do to just enter a door. Like you have to crouch and hit select, I think. Ugh. Yeah, just fix the control schemes, maybe do like an update date of the art style. Like I know some games like uh change the art style a bit for remakes or remasters. Uh like if you really look at it, it's just like an expanded version on Z Zelda 2. Yeah. So just do something Although like that. Uh, doesn't say we want a Gamelon. I mean, to be fair, uh, uh, not a whole lot of people t remember Zelda's adventure. No, I think some people still remember Zelda's adventure because at least it was still in the style of, uh, of the first CDI game. What do I need? Oh, I think I need to see what I need to do. Me? Nope, 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 nope. Ah, run, run, run. You okay, Moon? The skeleton guy just looks so confused. Yep, I'm just fighting a boss right now. Now, where did I leave my car keys? Uh, or do I get a feel with that voice dragon, it feels like next time he should talk he should say, Tell me about the rabbits, Link. <laughs> well, Link was a rabbit. Tell me about your bunny self, Link. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, how am I supposed to keep that pressed down? Nope, I'm sorry, you can do Keep it. Get little fucking minions away from me. Can you hammer it down? No, I can't hammer it down. Can I pull him out of the wall? No. Can I take Shit. his place? Nope. Hmm. Can I become one with the ice demons? Nope, sorry. You cannot. Come back when you're a little colder. <laughs> oh, that's a hook shot. 
Oh god, that skeleton just came out of nowhere. Nah, I forgot he was still in here and I didn't take him out the first time around. <laughs> Sword motion he did. The, the little wiggle attack? Yes. Eh, get away from me! <laughs> I'll harm you! <laughs> Honestly, do it in a skeletal voice, and it'll be perfect. Yeah, I'll harm you. Hey, man. Ah, oh, shit. shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. How am I supposed to... Now, I'm just thinking of the one meme now. Jokes on you. I'm into that shit. <laughs> I know that if I can figure out a way to press the switch to lower those blue things, I can drop into the pot and possibly get fairies. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe freeze the skull? Nope. Pick it up and then I press the button. Hmm. It's probably way more simple than... Wait, can you freeze no, the, uh, the guy back there and bring him over? Uh, we can try. Nope. Fire? Nope. Nice. No, I meant the guy in the other room. Uh, you can't bring enemies into other rooms, but I can try freezing him. That doesn't work. Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> Moon? You alright? Sorry, I had to have, have you rejoice. Bombs? Have you thrown bombs into those little holes yet? Uh, you know, that might be worth a try. Nope, that doesn't work! It's saying I still need a key because there was another door in there, but I have not picked up a key from any other room. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's go back up. Let's see. That was the big chest. Uh, been in there, been in there, been in there, been through all there, and then that's the entrance. And we're actually right outside where the boss is because we're only one floor above him. This dungeon is just basement. <laughs> hmm. I forget what you had to do to activate the floor switch right there. Finally beat that boss. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to find a way to lower these and push one of those blocks down there to cover up the switch. Now the million dollar question, how the hell do I get a get a thing and I'm dead. Never mind. Uh okay. Kill you, go through here, kill these three. <laughs> I just saw your tweet. <laughs> there has to be something else I'm missing from here. Nothing but magic, but I'll take the magic. I look over and I just see my dog has a cord in her face while she's trying to sleep. <laughs> and then Marley's looking at me all jealous.
Uh, I feel like if I step out of this room and step back into it, that thing's gonna reset the block pushing puzzle. I need a way to get past the fire bar to keep it blue so I can push those blocks down there. Unfortunately, I see no way to get around it, though. Well, isn't there a switch to change the, uh... Can you not push the two ooh, when you in front of you when you enter the room? No, I cannot. Huh. Bombs? And you can't and you can't leave a bomb to just run away and go back into it, right? No. If you leave a room then everything anything that happens is cancelled. Nope, that's not working. Wait a second, can you toss a bomb over? Ah, hi, I, yeah. I just tried that. There's a bomb outside the room that we need to be in to get to get through. Yeah, skill tonight, all right. I just need to figure out a way past that fire bar. Maybe this will motivate you. Mm. Damn you, dragon. <laughs> Alright, let's see if, what happens if I take out all the shadows in here. What karma? Alright, where is he? Can't hookshot anywhere down here unless. Nope. Carmen just got a dopey smile on her. Nope. Alright. Unless it actually is what I have to do. Wait, it pauses for a moment. Oh. It pauses for a moment, but I... I... Yeah, the bombs will go away as soon as I leave the room. The room beforehand was the Skeletonite one. Can't push that thing off. Oh, yeah, someone pointed out on Twitter since uh, Skyward Sword's coming to Switch, uh, the Barrage of Groose memes is going to return. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Everybody's favorite character. I, I don't think Skyward Sword is a bad-looking game, but Link at times can kind of look weird. I don't know. I, I, it still gave us that amazing scene of Gru's tackling Link out of the sky. <laughs> Link's face! So how can you say that's a bad game when that scene exists? Uh, I shall point to uh, Wind Waker's barrel scene. Uh, the barrel scene is good, but it, it's one of my favorite things is like they they did like the the Zangief uh thing of hold on I think I have it somewhere. Oh God. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I might not have it anymore. I thought I had it. If you do Skyward Sword on stream, I solely expect the intermission gifts just to be Skyward Sword stuff. Just the many expressions of Link from that game? Yes, Link, 
Anything Garus, Giram. Uh, damn, it doesn't look like I have the GIF. Might have been what was the GIF? GIF? It, it was basically the, the Zangief one, but with Skyward Sword. Damn it, it must be on my old computer. Alright. You're a bad guy, but does that mean you are a bad guy? Actually, let me check up here real quick. I want to see what is in this. Oh, just a heart. Okay. This does not seem like a fun dungeon. Uh, it's... Mm, it's something. Although I don't think fun would be the word that I would use to describe it. You gonna give this one the cold shoulder once you're done with it? Where did this pop up? <laughs> there it is. There. Oh, that's a pure. Well, I can retaliate too. Mm. Don't, don't get into this war with me, man. <laughs> I've got an unlimited supply of bonks. You have only a limited number of troops. <laughs> they don't encourage him. I <laughs> <sighs> just need to figure out how to get these stupid switches to work. Okay, well, wait, where's one of the switches in, uh, that's close to that room? The closest one is the one that's before that, that puzzle area with the fire bar. But if I hit, hmm. hit the switch, then there's, like, uh, two red blocks that pop up at, that I can't get past. I tried hookshotting around it, but it catches the, the block that has the fire bar on it, and I just fall into the void below. Shit. Hmm. There was another one that was beforehand, but it was before where the... I think it was, like, before the drop. Okay, you just gravitated towards the whole that time, Link. Come on. There's nothing of value in there. And then that just takes me back down here. Uh, no. I was going to say, wait, maybe I figured out the, the way to do this, but no. Honestly, I give you no shame if you want to look up how to do this. Uh, let me try something real quick, and if I don't get it right, then yeah, might have to look it up. Um, motion sensor technology that they have no spikes. Yeah, that was the tongue. Maybe the the block puzzle actually does stay uh, solved so long as you don't die. 
maybe I can make my way back up there. Because it was a, like, a switch thing that I could press beforehand, and if I can do that, then maybe I can get back into that room. Because there, why else would there be, like, a, a, a tone switch right there? Unless you could come back down this way. Elm. We'll see. Oh shit, unless I get completely destroyed in the corner. Alright, come on, don't die on me just yet. Oh god, Bunny Link on Ice looks weird. Okay, yes, it does stay oh. solved. I just need to not die. Oh lord. And that's easier said than done with me. Do you <laughs> have any red potions? Nope. Oh, no. All right, now I need to remember what area had the... There it is. All right, I am not taking any chances with you guys. Oh, right. Any health, maybe? Hopefully. Yep, one did. I can see why a lot of people really like this game, but one thing I am not a fan of is how stingy they are with hearts. Like, this game is incredibly stingy. Shit. No, don't die! Maybe? Maybe the uh, Game Boy Advance version fixed that issue, but I don't know. Uh, no! <sighs> I'll at least know what I have to do now. Link, invest in some cleats, goddamn. You know what? I'm gonna go get some health. I had the... No, I don't even have the money for a health potion. I wonder why that is. Because I make bad life choices. <laughs> no, you got scammed. Because I got scammed? Alright, I think there is a fairies fountain I can actually visit so I can at least get some fairies. And then I can just warp back here. I think number five was a fairy fountain. Yes, it was. Okay. Get that in the bottle. The fairies. Ice dungeon? Ice dungeon. Ice physics? Ice physics. Alright. Got two bottles of life insurance on me now. <laughs> what does the fairies feel when they get put into the bottle? I don't know, if it's anything like the Wind Waker Fairy, he's not happy. But yet they still willingly heal you. <laughs> I think they're just happy to, to be free, and I think just the, the any amount of fairy dust heals Link. Let me get back to Wind Waker. Part of me wants to make Wind Waker another three heart challenge run, but at the same time, it's like, but then that takes away like the exploration of that game, and that's like one of the best parts about Wind Waker. Then you're really like, joking around with the sailing theme anytime C comes up. At least now I know what I have to do. Take care of everybody in here this time. 
Oh god, you know everyone's doing comparing uh Bowser's golf outfit to his wedding outfit or his tennis outfit? No. His shirt. They're comparing him to Guy Fieri. Oh yeah. Uh <laughs> look look in memes. It's too on on the nose of it. I think even he tweeted about it. Also, uh, I, I said this before, but there's a good design consistency when it comes to Bowser and shoes. They always have a metal plate on them. Yeah, because because of his claws. Yeah. One of my favorite things about Mario is not the games, it's not like the the story, it's not the the platforming challenges. It's what what interesting designer they gonna come up for Bowser this time? I I what I'm basically saying is I want a remake of of Sunshine, but but have Bowser in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I want a new Yoshi's cookie and put Bowser into a cooking outfit. Was he ever in the first Yoshi's Cookie? No. That's why I want a remake or a new one of it. Give me Chef Bowser. <laughs> to be fair, I think there was like a cooking minigame in the, the new Mario Party, and Bowser was a playable character in that one. But that was before they really went into giving him outfits. Uh, I'm pretty sure they gave him outfits in that game. No, they they just are standard clothing. Ah. I don't know what I was thinking of Mario Party 2 when they gave him outfits. Well, Wario's a uh, cowboy outfit is returning. Well, what did it first appear in? Mario Party 2. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait. Uh, the, I meant, like, the design of that. I thought it was, like, a callback to a past Wario outfit. I just want a new Wario Land game. I, I, I doubt we're ever going to get a new Wario Land game. I'd be happy if we did because I love the Wario Land series. But it seems like with Wario, they, they just focus on WarioWare. Wasn't the last one Wario Land Shake It? Wario Land Shake It? Yes. That was the Wii hand-drawn animated one. That game was so good. I love at the end of the game, uh, the princess runs with the warrior going, My hero! Just yeets her away and takes the bag. <laughs> also... Hold on. It gave us this amazing gif. Oh, is it, is it him in the level select? You mean like, before one? you go into the telescope? Yep! <laughs> <laughs> Remember, someone had to hand draw on every single frame of that. So just think, Notice you can put on your resume, I, I, I had the anime Wario shaking his ass. Even the shadow on his ass makes a W. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> That's such a weird attention to detail. <laughs> no, th you know what's even worse? Someone had to animate that, but like, uh, at the end of the cutscenes, began the game, it goes, Yeah! <laughs> I was just like, Good, that's a good attention to you. Like, Wario doesn't give two shits about what's going to the princess, but the moment money's mentioned. Mm hmm. I know what something everybody is asking for. What, what's Waluigi's golfing outfit gonna look like? Uh, I think. Wait, that... what? What? The thing reset itself. I think it's because you went into two different rooms. Uh. N but wait, then how am I supposed to even get? Mm brain my brain I, I okay that's it i have to look i have to look it up i hate having to do this but i just
Is Waluigi wearing a vest? I don't know. I would hope so. I would love to see that. You know, we we haven't gotten a good shot of him yet. Like so, like there's just a blurry image of the one in of the one scene with him. All right, Ice Palace. I I I give up. I can't figure out how I'm supposed to get down there. I'm sure someone who's watching the VOD or might have popped in is screaming, "You idiot! This is what you're supposed to do." I was just like, I don't care. All right, let's see. Let's put that. Press that in there. Hold on there, do that, press that, go through there, got that, get that, get the mail, go through there. Alright, get the big key. Okay, speaking of the direct, what was with the whole segment on that uh, DC game? I don't know, I tuned it out mostly. Like, it looks so budgeted. I uh, know, what, what looks so budgeted, the Star Wars game. Like, I have not seen a single person excited about that one. <laughs> they they picked some odd games to show off in the first Direct in a year. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for that, that Tactics uh, working title game. It looks like made by the same people who made Autopath. I think it is. It's a, I think it's like a spinoff. I'm intrigued by it. I would love to see it. My one friend's hyped for it. He loves Octopath Traveler. I, I love Octopath, too. It's, like, one of my favorite RPGs because I just fell in love with the art style and the music. Should probably recommend that to my dad because he's into those type of games. Shit. All right, let's wait for that to go past. Get through there. This palace combined with the the shooting gallery mini game is turning my brain into sludge. Just your reaction was like, "Hey, this is actually this doesn't have a piece of heart." My eye was twitching when I saw that. <laughs> I was like, "You mean to tell me I spent all that time doing that for nothing?" <sighs> I, I hate this game sometimes. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. I paid no attention to that skull because I thought, oh, it's probably magic or it's probably nothing. It was just a way for you to get across there. But nope, there was a switch under it. Had to be in a treasure chest. And, and that's my that's my issue with this game sometimes. Hmm. Like, why hide the switches under stuff like that? I don't know. And that's why Link Between Worlds is a far superior game to this. Damn it. At least we got the missing key. Now we can go through here. Are, uh, are wall masters in this game? Yes, they were in the the bone forest. I guess I I, too, I guess I headed that before I could see that. Uh, uh, wall master, you mean floor master is the one that carry you to like the last room you entered? I'm talking about the ones that carry you to the beginning of the dungeon. Yeah, the, the, I think the... those are floor masters, not wall masters. <laughs> Honestly, I always get confused with the two. I went the wrong way. Whoops. But yes, they were two dungeons ago. Karma is snoring. How loud is it? Not too loud. I don't know. Link. She's just right next to me, so I can hear her easily. <laughs> I 
Drop down there. This should be the right floor. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna guess that the room that this uh, key opens up... That's gonna... What the heck was going on there? I'm gonna guess that the key that the, uh, the room this key opens up is oh, gonna God. have the... The switch that I've been looking for for so long. Yep, there it is. Just sitting right in the middle. Is the, is the eye twitch returning? Both eyes are twitching. Oh no! Oh dear. I'm ready to get out of this frozen hellhole. Or would you like a snow cone before you leave? No! Well, too bad. I wasn't going to give you one anyway. Not good. I didn't want one. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's inside those pots. I'm going to guess it's probably fairies. Yep, it was fairies. And that wasn't a thing that took you back to the... That, like, linked the front of the dungeon to this room. It was just, oh, that's how you get out of the pots. So, I almost had you bomb some fairies. I'm sure they'd be fine. What? Why is it not moving now? What the hell? Or did I? Oh, I think I need to push the other one. <laughs> I don't know. Someone why just tweeted a picture of the little salmon and buddy saying he was forced to eat cement when he was six. Wait, what? I am scrolling Twitter and someone on uh, Twitter said that he was four seed cement when he was six. And it's just a picture of a little Sam and Buddy in Splatoon 3. Wait, what? Uh... That wasn't the break. Uh... Oh dear. <sighs> Going back up the stairs. Kill the jellyfish. <laughs> Slap a bonehead around. He's still confused as to where he is. <laughs> How did I get here? Are you my new friend? Can I call you George? What's that sparky ball you got there? Oh, that's beautiful. Ah! <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, but then how am I... Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, this place is pretty icy. You're lucky I can't reach the bonk button right now. <laughs> All right. Stop getting hit by the damn curse thing. I don't even know what... I think that's supposed to be a bubble. Stop it, Link! Yeah, I was gonna say you need to chill, but I'm, I'm just not. Dragon! I said I'm not! <laughs> Alright. Uh, back in this... Okay, yeah, so it looped us back around, and then I had to push that thing from the other side. And I'm on the wrong floor! This dungeon Ooh. is just a mess. It is. Like I like the I like the dungeon item I got because now I take less damage, but holy hell. I'm gonna say right now. Now take what I say with a grain of salt. I don't hate this game. 
I can see why everyone li loves it. I still think A Link Between Worlds is a far superior game to this, because it fixed out a lot of bugs that this game had, or a lot of issues I have with it. But at the same time, a lot of these dungeons are really unremarkable. There we go. And also, at times, very tedious. <laughs> Like, uh, the Bone Dungeon. Uh, it's an interesting design for a dungeon, where it's like, oh, it's split between up in the surface or down below into the dungeon itself. But at the same time, you're constantly plagued by Floor Masters, and also the fact that if you die out in the dungeon, you have to go all the way back to the where you first entered the Dark World. Didn't, uh... Didn't, uh, Link Between Worlds also revisit that kind of dungeon? Yeah. Link Between Worlds is basically a remake of this game, but with some with some changes. Uh, most obvious one being its story. Yeah, story. Hi. Uh, story. Uh, the mechanic of uh, being able to, uh, you know, turn yourself into a painting and go along walls. So they reworked a bunch of the dungeons to work with that ability. I I have a Figma figure of that Link actually. Is that Cracko from Kirby? That just straight up looks like a, a pink Krakow from Kirby. <laughs> Let me... It's supposed to be Krakow. I'll look up. I'll look up the name of this boss as soon as we're done with it. Oh, but this slow down. And I'm dead. Thank God for life insurance. Did I already use up the other fairy? Oh god, I did. Alright, you know what? Oops. Bombs. <laughs> Burn it all to the ground. That did absolutely nothing. Alright, well, one Krakow is dead. Two's dead. Uh, his name is Cold Stare. That's a fitting name for him. Hey, we beat him. Hard. And we're done. Maybe he is supposed to be a reference to Krakow, since his name is spelled spelled uh, K H O L D stare. All he was missing was uh, spikes on the inside of him. Because you escaped from the evil clutches of the monsters, thinking they say the Hylia people control mysterious powers, as did the Seven Wise Men. But the blood of Hylia has become thin over time. We who carry the blood of the Seven Wise Men do not possess strong power anymore. Our power will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains until the gate to the castle at the castle link in the worlds opens. Completely. If you defeat Link Gan is... oh, sorry, go ahead. Link is gonna have a wicked cold after this dungeon. And it's okay, he's wearing blue. If he were green, he would die? Yes. Alright, well we are finally out of this place. Our next stop is over in the desert. And then the final one, which I believe is Zelda, is up in the mountains. Fortunately, we can't get back the normal way because, well, we're trapped in here. Well, I, I gotta head out. I gotta work in the morning. Alright. Night, guys. Good night. night. What time is it? That's eh, one. We still got some time. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Where to go? Uh, let's see if I go.
I hmm. uh, probably should get back to the Dark World. And this, I believe, is a location that has a portal. Yep, there it is. Actually, you know what? You probably should go back into the Fairy's Fountain to get some fairies. I can't do anything with my hammer. Alright, back to the dark world. <laughs> Hey, Lord Gamer Jarvis, how's it going? Playing some Smash. Alright, uh, let's see what you're playing. Oops, I keep forgetting I need to put their name in. Uh, uh, ah, Mario Kart Double Dash. Alright, uh, let me get some countermeasures going for you. Smash and Double Kart. Ah, ah okay. Gamer Jarvis, thank you so much for the raid. We are playing some Link but uh, I almost said Link Between Worlds because I've been talking about it too much. Uh, we're playing Link to the Past for game clearing. Uh, so far, we have rescued five of the seven maidens, and we just finished up the Ice Palace. So now we're just <laughs> going through the Dark World, seeing if we can collect some things, and then maybe make our way to the next dungeon. If we can finish that tonight, that'd be great, but I think we might just set that up for next week. But hope your stream went well, dude. Uh, this was the way out. Hope you had a good night as well. Hope you stayed safe. Hope you stayed uh, healthy. Oh, there. Uh, what was the... This way. No, it was up this way. All right, there it is. All right, so let's see. We got one, two. So yeah, two more full heart containers from the dungeons. And we're missing... I need to find a safe spot so I can count all the pieces of heart we're still missing. So one, two... Four, eight, twelve, and do we already have any on us? Alright, so we're still missing 11 pieces of heart and the two heart containers from the dungeons. And then we'll have everything in terms of that. I know where one is. It's up in the mountains, but we can't get to it right now because we don't have a way to get past the bumper. Uh, let's see, what else are we missing? We're still missing what looks to be three items, but I'm going to guess those are two of the, which are going to be dungeon items. 
And from the looks of things, we are still missing two bottles. I cannot believe that I still wasted that much money. I I hate being broke in this game. <laughs> oh, that that's why I didn't say anything. I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> If you heard a shattering sound, that was my soul breaking into a million pieces after realizing what happened with that stupid shooting gallery. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> oh. Alright, there was a treasure in the graveyard, it seems. <gasps> Damn it! Oh. Right, might as well go back to the graveyard, because it's right over here, and see if the, what treasure I might have missed. Carefully. Yeah, not that. Let's see. It's the fairy. I think I already broke all that stuff. Didn't really yield anything. Bombs? <laughs> yep, nothing there. Alright, uh, oops. All right, I'll figure out the treasure in the graveyard. It probably has to do with that one grave that we saw in the light world, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get it open, so I'm guessing I might need another dungeon item for that. Possibly. All right, I'm done playing for tonight. <laughs> Kicking your butt? I've kicked enough butt. I leveled up my character pretty good. <laughs> Aha! Because the key is locked inside this chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. Oh, cool! We're now just dragging a chest behind us. Uh, how are we supposed to get into the swamp now? I can't enter a cave with something following me. Well, just a chest following you. Oh, Link, just tell the chest to wait outside the cave while you explore. <laughs> Ow. Uh oh. Oh no, I did lose the chest. Oh no. Yeah, if you use the Pegasus boots to sprint, then it just stays behind. <laughs> it's like, ugh, ugh, no, please wait up. I'm so out of shape. <laughs> Can't keep up. I heard that you know I used to, I heard that you know I used to be a thief, right? Well, I'll open a chest for you. Will you keep it a secret from everyone else? Will you promise? Will you please promise? Uh, sure. Oh, cool bottle. Remember, you promised. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking your. Oh, he's not angry that I took a sign. <laughs> he's not chasing you yet. <laughs> Keyword yet. All right, I need to go to the desert area, so let's head over here and see if we can figure out anything. Nope, nothing there. Oh, hi! There we go. Oh, good, it's storming. Mm 
<laughs> this place is weird. This whole game is weird. <laughs> so your profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. As a matter of fact, monster magic is making it rain in the swamp. If you can move the air with more force than the monsters, the rain may stop. Okay, Link just pulls out a giant paper fan and just starts blowing it all over the place. <coughs> I wonder... This looks to be the spot where that one thing was, so let me ha see if I can go back to the... I'm standing right on the rock! Ooh. Uh, let's see. Push that way. Right now. Push up that up. Up. There we go. Piece of art. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's stuck. <laughs> ah, fine. Gotta take the long way. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. All I have to do is check through a swamp again. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. We've got birds. Go away. Doesn't sound like a dun oh hey. Yeah. Rupees. <gasps> I need to leave Oof. and come back to reset that. They look like I'm going to like swamp fane heads every time I enter these caves. <laughs> well look at it. Yeah. I see it. Alright, uh let's see. How do I solve this one? There we go. Ooh, piece of art. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, piece of art. <laughs> piece of art is your piece of candy. <laughs> yep. Oh, we actually did need to use one of the medallions. No more rain. But a giant monster head showed up. Alright, uh, we probably could do the next dungeon, so we'll try it. We'll see how far we can get. Well, it's still early, so... <laughs> yeah, we still got like an hour or maybe an hour and a half, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. What is this camera angle? Oh, hey, Wizrobes. Too bad Dragon's not here because he was like, oh, hey, are, do we ever fight Wizrobes in this game? <laughs> they kind of remind me of the, the mage characters from Final Fantasy. Oh yeah, it kind of does, huh? The little mages that follow you. Yeah. I, I like their big goofy hats. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, that one's a dead end, and that just leads to a room I can't enter yet. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is a door. Okay. Oh! Okay. Hmm? There's like a time limit on oh. that before it breaks away, so I gotta be fast in that room. Really? Run, run, run. Mm -hmm. 
And it's for the che big chest that I cannot get into. Ooh. Those little things that spinny things that was in that room, they look like spin tops. <laughs> yep, nothing. All right, it was worth a shot at least. Couldn't even do anything mm -hmm. in here if I wanted to because I need the big key. <laughs> and I can't do anything there. Hmm. Aha. Hmm. Oh, guess not. Yeah, there's a couple walls that look like that. I figured they were decorations. Yeah, it looks like it. I can't do anything there. I need to find a switch. Can't do anything there, so I'm going to guess that I have to find another way through this little maze to get up there. Oh, dear. Or get up there. That works, too. Uh, that looks like a one-way trip. I want to see what else is around here. Oh, hey! Bomb slugs! Cool. Bomb slugs? Well, they're slugs and they're dropping bombs. <laughs> and that was just the way down there, so I guess I need to find a switch up here. This place has an interesting layout. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Is there like a... A bridge or something? Alright, there's the uh switch. The layout of the dungeon doesn't really make sense. <laughs> I'm sure once I get the key, I'll I'll see if the layout is actually a, like something or nothing. <laughs> that is, if I don't die first. Risking it. Oh, I I actually do have the areas that I've cleared, and so far it's not like a a layout of something. Yeah, I don't see anything with it. <laughs> All right, what's that here? Uh, boss door, some whiz robes, skulls, and that thing. Shit, I'm gonna die.
You sure do like turning into a bunny a lot. <laughs> no, I don't like turning into a bunny, but I'm forced to. <laughs> Gee. Okay, I can actually get out of there. And I'm dead. I got shot in the back. The most disrespectful of ways of getting shot. Shot or stabbed? <laughs> Both. At least I don't have to hear the beeping now. <laughs> this is true. And up here gives us the map. All right, let's see. Ooh, there's a lot of rooms we missed. There's one on the on the first floor, but we haven't found the stairs up to it yet. That just leads into there. All right, so head that way, and then I'm trying to remember remember what other places had the blue pillars. Wait. <clears throat> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't either. So let's go up here. Go in here. Oh, right. It was... Oh, maybe it's... It has maybe a secret in this room, or is there another room that leads into there? There is. And it needed a key. Great. Of course it does. Uh... Hey, guess what I just found? The key. No. What? I found a key. <laughs> you just said no. Uh, you brat. Hew, 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 hew. Wait, 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 wait. Key. I'm not gonna open that door. Let's see what's down here first. Be most in slugs. Come on, give me, give me some hearts. I said heart. just to open that one. See what's up here. Hmm. Oh. I see what I need to do. I need to go back down. Thank you. Well, that was for nothing. Oh. It's because there's four lanterns.
Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's doing something. I have no clue what that did. <laughs> Link, this is I, Sarasarala, the Elder. You set fire to the four torches to open the way forward. I'm dead. Is what I would have said! Okay, I guess it's just an infinite number of wizards. Maybe you have to hit a certain him and color. His... Nah, I... hold on, let me try. They keep popping in like an order, so. Nah. Unless. Let's see if they pop in again. There we go. Now that didn't take them all out. Uh, see, do you notice there's like the rest of them are red and blue, and one's blue? Hmm. Yeah, it was still the same. I think that was just a, a color change. Hmm. Might have been because because I used the the spell right as they were casting their little wave attack. Yeah, it looks like they just keep shooting them in different colors. I'm gonna guess that has the big key in it. <laughs> uh, now where do I remember where the switch for this place was? Uh, I honestly don't remember where. Oh, I think it was down here. Boy. Oh. Uh, don't yawn. It makes me yawn. I'm sorry. If you need to go sleep, go sleep. Mm. You know what I say about staying up on my behalf? Mm hmm. Also, a little bit longer. All right. <laughs> 
Oh, crap. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> okay. Go this way. One, two... Oh, God. Three, four... Open this up, and that's not what I thought that was going to be. Alright, uh, let's see. Hmm. It's worth a shot. Alright, uh, let me go back this way then. Yep, that was right. And right where the chest is. And there's the big key. gonna hold off and go in there in there because I need to go grab the big chest mm-hmm You got the cane of uh, Samaria. It will be very helpful if you make proper use of it. What a mysterious cane. It, it, it makes blocks. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. It, it, if you use it again while the block is out, then that means... Or it lets you sh uh, shoot like projectiles. Nice. Although it doesn't look like it hurts enemies, it just pushes them. So out of all the Zelda games, do you think this is the hardest one you've played? Not the hardest, more just the... I would say this is probably one of the more unforgiving ones. Like, the early NES yeah. Zelda games are definitely the hardest. <laughs> oh, I see. Although, I will say, I'm getting really sick and tired of hearing that beeping all the time now. <laughs> the heart thing. Yes. Like, yes, I get it, I'm low on health, you don't need to constantly remind me.
And I'm dead. Fuck. Oh, no more fairy. Nope. I only had two. Probably should have grabbed three when I got the third bottle, but eh, well. What the hell was that? Mm. What's up? I heard something outside and it sounded creepy. Hey, <clears throat> better be careful, Moon. Stop it. No. Mm -hmm. No. Would you like me to sleep tonight? <laughs> no. Brad? What's this way? Magic. Alright, I think I see what I need to do. Mm. Because I can uh, make the block shoot a projectile after... After using the cane again. I probably mm -hmm. need it to... Use a projectile in the conveyor system in the next room. Really? What the hell's going on with the switch? There we go. No? What is going on here? Weird. There we go. That is really finicky. Yeah, it looks like it has to be, like, right on it. do this and I can't get through there oh but there is a hidden room up there I thought it might have been one but I just want to make a hundred percent sure Oh, what the... What the 
hell were those? Hmm. Hmm. Bats, maybe? <laughs> uh, didn't look like bats. Studio Ghibli <laughs> dust bunnies? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. It's nice that everything comes down a very narrow hallway and doesn't give me any room to maneuver around. Oh, we're at the boss, and I only have four hearts on me. What is well, Zelda's fascination with eyes? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, the, uh... Well, okay then. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to get some life insurance for this. Full health and got three fairies. I think we're set for the boss. <laughs> you got this. You say that. You got this. You say that. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, you say that. <laughs> Now I need a bonk button. Here, this one's for you. Or I guess it's more for me, but it's for you you to use against me. little wiggly thing over here. Seriously, what is that thing? Uh... I don't know, and I don't like it. <laughs> it it's like a bush of gummy worms. I'm just mesmerized by the wiggle. <laughs> You're always surprised by wiggle mechanics, apparently. <laughs> Just by that, I don't know any other wiggle mechanics that mesmerize me. Uh. Uh. uh mm. Well, <laughs> could you think of one? Yes, I'm trying to come out with it. And no, um, no Luigi's nose does not count. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm sorry, he had such good jiggle physics. Oh, and the the doctor from Little Nightmares. I wasn't mesmerized by the wiggle. I was disturbed by the wiggle in that. But you were still like, those jiggle mechanics. <laughs> I was. It was more so that Spider-Man mechanic. <laughs> That uh, tells me. Oh, I see. That's why they have you do this to go all the way around. Mm hmm. Place that there. Go ahead, 
Come on. That should be it. There we go. And all that just for money. Yes, I am that greedy. But now I get to go all the way around again. Hooray. Yay. Drop tilt. I want that. <laughs> oh, what would be a good thing to take into the boss fight? Uh... Obviously, you need that cane. Nah, the cane's only good for making blocks to solve block puzzles. Hmm. Just need to kill all the eyes out here. AKA, just spin all all around and you basically <laughs> will have him beat. Mm-hmm. Oh, but his attacks start getting whiter every time I take out an eye. Oh, yeah, he spreads them out. Also looks like his eye tracks me a bit before... He shoots lightning. Uh, it seems like it's more geared towards the middle. Yeah. But but the lightning will spread out every now and then. No, there was no escaping that. Come on, get your goo eye out. Jeez, what is this thing made out of? There we go. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's bouncing. Oh, dear. And now he's an absolute joke. I say as <laughs> I get hit. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> and he's dead. You know, you had, like, four eyes in reserve. You probably should have just sent those out to kill me and kept sh shooting lightning at me. Ah, well. That makes maiden number six. and captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then used the wizard Agadim as his pawn. He drew us to the dark world. After cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters, but Ganon didn't plan on you getting this far. Now Princess Zelda is waiting for you inside of Turtle Rock. Please hurry. Do you understand? Nope, not at all. <laughs> that all that's left is Zelda and she of course is all the way on the other side of the of the kingdom um, 
let's go back to the light world. And let's go, I guess, fly off back to our house. Mm-hmm. Oops. I hit the wrong button. Oh, nope, I did. All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are going to end it off tonight. Because it is basically time at this moment. <laughs> well, aside from that minigame that we will never talk about ever again, and <laughs> the Ice Palace, eh, tonight went pretty well. I actually enjoyed the, the, the Swamp Palace there, and... Mm -hmm. well, the, the Thieves area wasn't that bad. I just really hated that Ice Palace. Holy hell, that was bad. And that, and that, <laughs> and that Shooting Gallery minigame really left a sour taste in my mouth. I couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see who we got to raid tonight. And I think I found our target. question is, is he still alive right now? And nope, of course not. Let's see, who else do we have? Alright, nothing there, so let's check the... Uh, let's see... Uh, da -da, da -da. Here's something we can raid. Looks like they're on intermission as well. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what is our raid message going to be for tonight? Curve games are a scam. <laughs> you know what? That, that's, that is a good one. That is, that is a good message. <laughs> Alright, we are going to go and raid Fahrenheit, who is playing Stardew multiplayer at the moment. Or from mm. what it seems like from their the game they're playing, it looks more like they're playing What the Golf. Whatever they're playing, mm. let's go give them some support and tell them that all carnival games are a are a scam. Oh wait. <laughs> Oh, mm. No, no, abort! Mm. He's he's raiding someone else. He's he's going to raid Juker. Oh, you know uh, what? You know what? We'll we'll pile on. We'll, we'll dog pile Juker with two raids at once. We're gonna tell Juker that carnival games are a scam. Okay. Abort! Abort! <laughs> Everybody, go tell Juker that carnival games are a scam. Juker's currently playing retro games, and he's playing a golf game. <laughs> it looks like a really weird golf... It's like a golf pinball game, from the looks of it. Mm. Pin golf. Alright. Uh, possible stream tomorrow. Gonna be looking to do the... Uh, I should say, possible stream in the afternoon tomorrow with the model kit building and finishing up that Stormtrooper. Uh, tomorrow night, of course, Yakuza. Gonna try and get a stream VOD up tomorrow, which will be the second Yakuza video. And then the next stream VOD will be on Sunday, and then it's like, basically it's gonna be one slide video, two VODs, just so I can start catching up on stream VODs. Alright, that's gonna do it for tonight. Thank you all for stopping by, thank you all for the raids and all the support and bits and such. I will see you all tomorrow afternoon for some model kit building and then some <sniffs> Yakuza. There we go. I almost lost the word for it. Anyways, good night, everybody. <laughs> night.